They are also very clever and versatile communicators, using a combination of touch, smell, sight, sound and posture to convey their message. But perhaps the most interesting facet of elephants' communicational apparatus is the vast range of vocal sounds that they can emit, most of which are inaudible to humans. Dust is deftly applied to the skin for protection from ticks and flies. The elephant population in South Africa is secure today to the point that there is an overpopulation crisis in some areas. This type of zebra is the Birchall zebra or plain zebra, found in the northern regions of South Africa. You can see that the stripes run onto the belly and right around the abdomen, and the stripes fade on the lower legs. It can be mistaken for other subspecies of zebra, such as the mountain zebra, whose striping configuration is different. Birchall's is also slightly larger than the mountain zebra. Although there are general differences in the striping that distinguish zebra subspecies, it is also a fact that each zebra has its own unique pattern, and no two are identical. It is a theory that the stripes may help other zebras to spot one that is being attacked and pulled away from the herd during a night hunt when visibility is poor. Their main predators are lion, hyena, leopards and cheetahs. Herds of zebra like this one can cover huge distances in search of good grazing. Zebras are family animals. A stallion will have a breeding herd of four or five mares, which he controls and defends aggressively. Single foals are born. Most are born in the summer season. The foals can walk within minutes of birth and run after an hour. Zebras prefer to eat short grass and need a plentiful grazing supply. They also eat leaves and twigs. They are very dependent on a ready supply of water. These are blue wildebeest, a member of the antelope family and very common across northern, central and northwestern South Africa, although their migratory habits have been restricted by fencing. Waterbuck, distinguishable by their round white ring on the rump, are stocky, shaggy-haired antelopes. They prefer well-watered habitats such as floodplains or grassland close to water, hence their name. As well as grass, they also like to eat marula tree fruit. They usually stay in herds of about a dozen and are easily preyed upon by large carnivores. Females form into herds with their young. Young males form bachelor herds until they become mature and territorial. The adult bulls are very territorial and defend territory by fighting often to the death with aggressive male intruders, lowering their heads, indicating a threatening intention. The warthog's so-called warts are these lumps that you can see here beneath each eye. The male